Hey gearheads, this is Chris here at gearreport.com. I wanted to take a moment out of my trip and just speak to you a little bit about my new favorite hiking shoe. This, the Zero Shoes TerraFlex. Steve and the team at Zero Shoes sent me a couple pairs of shoes early in the winter and wanted me to try them out, tell them what I thought. Now, I'm a former cross country runner. I'm a former high mileage runner. I've got uh, a degenerative disease called Osgood Slatters in both of my knees and I've got a broken hip. Finding the right hiking shoe for me is a big deal. It, I've always been either, I've, I've been just like you. Started with hiking boots. And then as my packs got lighter and started being a little bit more weight conscious, I switched to trail runners. Then this whole zero shoe f revolution came about and I started thinking, maybe that's for me, but it can't be for me. I have very high arches. I have weird shaped feet, bad knees, a broken hip. I broke my hip in 96 during a run training accident. So uh, there's a lot that I have to take in consideration when I strap a 15, 20, 25 pound bag to my back and head off down the trail. That being said, um, day, I remember the first five miles on just a day hike with some buddies in these shoes. It really surprised me how nimble I'd become, how in sync with the ground and the roots and the unevenness of most trails here in the Carolinas. But I was looking for more of a shoe that would cover everything. They sent me a dress pair of shoes that I wear around the office at my corporate job. They're not as funky as my little toe shoes that people give me grief about. And uh, this past January, I attended SHOT Show, so just a couple weeks ago. Out in Las Vegas, it was five days of convention for the firearms industry, of convention floor showroom. I logged 107,000 steps in that time. And every one of them were in these shoes. These minimalist, flimsy, I mean, yeah, you roll them up. I mean, that's how they flew out to and from Vegas. I did bring a my normal trail runners just in case, just in case I needed something they weren't working, my feet hurt too much. At the end of the day, did my feet hurt? Yeah, my feet hurt. Yours would too after a 10 mile walk on heavy concrete of a convention center at the Sands. But the next morning when the rest of the team were rubbing their feet, putting baby powder on their feet, I think one guy was even taping up a blister. I felt fine. I felt like I hadn't walked those 10 miles. I was amazed how quickly my feet actually recovered in these shoes. So that to me was a success. Before and after, I've got probably, I'd say 50 miles of hiking on them. So between the first part of December and the end of January, that's 100 miles on these shoes. Uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased. It's a joy every time I put these shoes on. It's like I'm wearing bedroom slippers. They, they are truly have become the most comfortable shoe I own. Now, that comes with some caveats. That comes with, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. One, they're like two millimeters, three millimeters thick of a sole. There is no arch. Uh, I noticed very quickly at the end of the first day I wore them that my heels hurt. My heels hurt, I bet you, probably the first month. 
because of my background of cross country and distance running in the early to mid 90s, I was taught from the beginning that you heel strike and roll your foot. So to this day, I stand on my heels. Uh, thanks, Steve. And at this point, I don't think I stand on my heels anymore. I think I'm standing more midfoot when I'm standing at the office or on the convention center. So between shot and the shoes, I've learned how to not stand on my heels. So it does take some time. That is the learning curve. You know, as I say, there's not a perfect piece of gear. I think that once I made that leap and took them down on the trail, the first three miles, the guys I was hiking with just thought I was nuts because every two minutes I was turning around saying something about my feet. And I felt like the first couple miles, every step, the shoe slid around my foot. When in reality, I was putting my foot down and then the shoe was wrapping around my foot. So each step, I had a near perfect mold between my foot and the ground. Whether there was a root in the middle or a root on the ball or a root on the heel. So I felt the ground more. You know, pros, they're comfortable once you get them broke in. When I'm hiking, they definitely help me connect more to the ground which makes me more sure-footed. Um, another benefit, they grip really well. If uh, the soles are very grippy when they're wet, drawbacks, there, there, there are a few things. One, like any sudden change of shoes, you want to give them a break-in period. They felt great the moment I put them on my feet but they needed that break-in period so that my feet could get used to essentially walking around barefoot. Uh, even with years of wearing the little toe shoes, the Vibram Five Fingers, these were a completely different feel. Uh, another thing is, as you can see, I got these bright green um, Solomon Speed Laces on it. And it's probably just a personal preference. I took the laces out after Vegas. Uh, I tried, while I was in Vegas, I tried a set of the Hickey's shoe ties, and I just personally didn't like the way they looked. They worked fine. I didn't have one break. They held up to range day, four days of the showroom floor. They held up to the, uh, the nighttime parties. I just didn't like the way they looked. So I went with these bright green Solomon Speed Laces. Uh, I like the Speed Laces because I can just stick it on, pull it tight, and rock and roll, or if I need to get them off quickly, I can just pull the loose and let it go. So I switched out the traditional shoelace for these. Another uh, drawback, there's, even though you've got a patented strap that runs from the heel down to the side and then up, that you can pull tight, which actually will pull in and give you more ankle support, there's, there's even tight, there's not a lot of ankle support. So if you roll your ankles, uh, take that into consideration when you first start out. Never felt like I was going to because they're so light. I mean, I think on my scale, and I'll probably edit this in post and give you the real numbers, but they're like 22 ounces for the pair. That's 11 ounces. That's awesome for a hiking shoe. I guess in conclusion, I'd probably give these somewhere between three and a half and four gears. I like them. I'm very pleased with them. They handle what I need them to handle. They are stylish enough. I can wear them around the office. They are comfortable enough. I don't have a problem reaching for them in the closet in the morning. I think Steve's got the right idea with these shoes. I'm very appreciative that he sent them to me. Did I pay for them? No. If I didn't like them, you, if I really didn't like them, you wouldn't get this video because I want to put the time and energy into it. But I really think that I look forward to hiking in them more 
the spring, the summer, when we get off shoulder season, and I can really, you know, stretch them out and give them a shot. Until next time, I'll catch you down the trail. Thank <laughs> you.